Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 version 24H2. Just to be clear, these are the steps to install the preview since the final version will be available at some point during the second half of 2024. These instructions are for those who want to test the new features and changes that Microsoft plans to ship in the final version. If you want to install the operating system now, it is recommended to use a spare computer or a virtual machine since pre-releases of Windows can cause problems and even data lost. Okay, let's dive into the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 24H2. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost you anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, the installation is a three-step process which includes downloading the ISO file for the latest preview of Windows 11 from the Windows Insider program website. You also have to use the Rufus tool to create a bootable media, and then you can proceed with the setup. Also, you must ensure that your computer can boot from USB, which means that you might need to change UEFI settings. Since the firmware settings are different on every computer, you must check your manufacturer support website for more specific details. First, we're going to download the latest version of the ISO file for the Windows 11 version 24H2 and you can do that from this website. And you have to make sure that you're signing in with your Microsoft account. You can do that right here at the top. Once on this page, scroll down, then select the edition of Windows 11 that you want to download. In this case, we're gonna use the dev channel because we know that Microsoft is currently testing version 24H2 and the dev channel. And the build number is going to change depending on the time that you're actually downloading the ISO file and then click the confirm button. Now we're going to select the language of the installation. In my case, it's going to be English United States and then click the confirm button. And now to download the ISO file, just click the download button. I already downloaded the ISO file, so I'm just going to cancel this download. Now we need to download the Rufus tool. You can do that from this website. Scroll down and under the download section, click the latest version and download it on your computer. Now open the files where you downloaded the files and then double click to launch the Rufus tool. And now connect a USB flash drive to the computer with at least eight gigabytes of storage and make sure that you don't have any data that is important because this process will delete everything on that drive. Once you selected the drive to create the bootable media, click the select button. Now select the ISO file and click the open button. You can use all the default settings. If you want to change the value label, you can do that. Just going to name it Windows 11 24H2 USB and then click the start button. Now, if you want to install the next version of the operating system on a computer that is not supported, you can click this option right here. Also, if you want to use a local account instead of a Microsoft account during the setup, you can check this option. I'm going to be using a computer that is supported to install Windows 11, so I'm going to clear these options. And then just click OK. Confirm that all the data on that specific USB drive is going to be deleted, and then click the OK button. Now the tool is going to complete creating a bootable media to install the operating system. And once that's finished, make sure to disconnect the USB drive and connect it to the computer that you want to install the preview of the next version of the operating system. And then start the computer to access the setup. And now we're in the installation setup for Windows 11 version 24H2. And as you can see, it's a little bit different from the setup from previous version on the first page. Make sure to select the installation language and then choose the time format and then click the next button. Now select the keyboard settings and then click the next button. On the select setup option, we're going to pick the install Windows 11 option and then we're going to check this option to agree that everything on the computer will be deleted and then click next. 
Now, if you're about to install Windows on a computer that previously had an installation of Windows 11 or Windows 10, you can skip this option because the computer will automatically activate after the installation. Otherwise, you can, you're going to need to enter a product before you can continue. Now, you can also skip this option, but after the installation, you will need to activate your copy of Windows 11. In my case, I'm going to click the I don't have a product key option. Now, select the edition of Windows 11 that the product key activates. In my case, it's going to be Windows 11 Pro, and then click Next. I set the terms. If you're about to erase a pre-installation of Windows, it is best to select each of the partition and click the Delete button, and then select the unallocated space to continue installation. Because this is a fresh drive, I'm just going to select it, and I'm going to click the Next button to continue with installation. And now we need to click the install button to continue. And now we need to finish the setup. First, select the region and click yes. Now select the keyboard layout and click yes. And on this page, click the skip button. Choosing a computer name is optional, but it's recommended. Once you click next, the computer will restart and it's going to pick up where you left off. Now we're going to select the setup for personal use. This option is only available on Windows 11 Pro, no Windows 11 Home, and then select next. Now click the sign in button. Confirm your Microsoft account. And now we're going to create a pen. Now click the OK button. Choose your privacy settings. They're all turned on by default, but you can go and read each one of them and turn it off and on depending on, on your preferences. Then scroll down and click the Accept button. Windows 11 Setup has an option to restore your computer from backup, and you can restore your folders, apps, settings, and credentials, but since this is for a preview version of Windows 11, I would recommend just to like go to more options and click the setup as a new PC option. Now in here you can choose how do you want the system to personalize tips, ads, and recommendations, but you can skip this option. You can also skip the option to link your phone to your computer. Now, if you want to set up backup OneDrive, just click the Next button. Otherwise, if you just want to keep your files on your computer and not in the cloud, click the Only Save Files to this PC. Let's skip this option. And that concludes the installation of Windows 11 version 24H2. Now, we can confirm that we're running the latest version of the operating system by going to the Settings app. And then on system, we go to the about page and under windows specifications, we can see that we're on version 24H2. Now, since we downloaded and installed a preview version of Windows 11, you're automatically enrolled in the Windows Insider program. So if we go to Windows Update and then we go to the Windows Insider program settings, we can see that we are in the dev channel. However, we do need to use this page and then click the link an account for the Windows Insider account setting. And here, just select the account that you want to use and then click the continue button. And you will now have access to the settings for the Windows Insider program. Now, every time that a new preview view of Windows 11 releases, it will be available through the Windows update settings. Now, one setting that you want to check is this one right here because sometimes Microsoft will release updates with different features turned on and off, and this option will guarantee that you're going to get the new features as soon as possible. And that's it, that's how you perform a clean installation of the latest preview for Windows 11 version 24H2. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for reviewing.